my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, let's go over hand instrumentation tips for scaling the lower anterior teeth. And before we get started, if you want to learn even more about the dental hygiene career, I have a free RDH video checklist on how to become an RDH, whether you are in high school, college, or even if you've recently graduated from dental hygiene school. No matter where you are on your RDH journey, I'll link below my free RDH video checklist for you to learn everything there is about this amazing dental hygiene career. And without further ado, here is hand scaling tips for dental hygienists. So I realize this patient does not have heavy calculus by any means, but there is still slight buildup here on the lower anteriors, so it works as a visual. And there are two techniques that might help you. The first is to take one tooth, one surface at a time. So you literally clean one tooth at a time and just focus on the distal and then on the facial and then focus on the mesial and then come around on the lingual and then to the distal again, all on the same tooth. And then on to the next tooth. Mentally, oftentimes that can really help, you know, breaking it down into each tooth surface, telling yourself, I'm going to take one tooth at a time, one surface at a time. And the second technique you can try and what I'm going to show you in this video is taking it one surface at a time. I like this, especially on the lower anteriors because we all know that's where most buildup happens for many patients. And if for some reason you're not able to use the ultrasonic, it can be very stressful because you're like, ah, everything's fine in the posteriors, but these lower anteriors, how am I gonna do that with my hand scaler? So talking about the lower anteriors, truly what I do is focus on all of the surfaces away from me, all of the surfaces toward me, and then I scale the facials and then the linguals. Regardless of which one you choose, just try not to look at the full mouth and feel intimidated. Don't be like, ah, how am I gonna do this with all? I don't have time. You will get it done. Just try not to feel overwhelmed. Just break it down either one tooth at a time or one surface at a time. Now let's watch my example. Again, tell yourself one surface at a time. Right now I'm cleaning all of the surfaces away from me. If you're not a dental hygienist, but you're watching this video because you like teeth, I hope this is soothing. A little bit of ASMR, right? Music to your ears. Now here you can still see I'm cleaning the surfaces away from me, but I am now on the facial side. I do sometimes wrap around the direct facial, right? You'll see me doing it in just a second. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm cleaning the direct facial, but I'm still focused on the surface away from me. So in just a bit, once I finish all these surfaces away from me, you'll see. I go back and I check all the direct facials and the direct linguals. But when I am cleaning the interproximal surfaces, I always start the motion by wrapping around from the facial. Here we go. I'm doing it right here. So I changed my instrumentation a little to get the facial because I felt something there. If you can see, I mean there. Now let's clean the surfaces toward me. So I finished everything away from me. Now we'll watch and listen to the beautiful ASMR of scaling the surfaces toward me. And here again, you can see I was just cleaning the direct lingual, right? So again, it just helps me when I'm focused on cleaning the surfaces toward me. But of course, I'm coming around from the lingual and taking care of those areas as well. Now it's time for the surfaces toward me from the facial side. Lastly, after you finish the whole mouth, doing the surface by surface or whatever your favorite sequence is, like I said earlier, I like to double check everything. So here you can see me double checking everything, running the scaler along the gum line to make sure I didn't miss anything. And if I did, I can get it now. And then here I am showing the flossing, another great way to check and make sure you didn't miss any pieces of calculus. The floss sometimes gets stuck on it, you'll feel it. And that's it. I hope this video helped if you're a dental hygienist or if you're just watching this because you like teeth, I hope it made you feel good. And don't forget to remind patients that although visiting us at the dental office routinely is extremely important, what patients do at home every single day in between their dental appointments is just as important. So be sure to remind them to keep up with their daily routine of brushing and flossing at home and making sure they're using proper technique. And if you're interested in sharing a way to help patients create the perfect routine at home, make sure to click the 
the link in the description below to sign up for my free oral care guide. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you did. I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.